At the beginning of the film recap, the three siblings are shown in a family, with Violet as the eldest daughter. Violet is an inventor and invents things in her own time. She makes new things out of the things she had when tying her hair. The second character shown is Klaus, who has read all the books in his house. The interesting thing was that he remembered everything from the book and even the page number. They have another sister named Sunny. He is younger and has a great figure. Her great thing was that she chews everything, regardless of whether it will be wood or a piece of tile. The story moves on and a banker is shown going to the children, and tells them that they lost their parents because of the incident. He says their house caught fire and the cause is unknown. The siblings reach their house with the banker and find everything burnt, and also lost their parents. Klaus notices the binoculars in the room as he leaves. He was the financial banker and personal banker of this family. This banker will take care of all those siblings. The banker takes the children to the guardian, will lead them to their close relative. As they get out of the car, they see a beautiful house. The siblings think we have reached a good place. That was their first and last mistake, and the siblings showed up to find a terrible home. It was in the forest and the first guardian of the siblings is shown when the door opens. He was a greedy guardian and needed money instead of children. That's why he sends the bankers back immediately. The house was depicted as horrible, with cobwebs everywhere. The stairs were broken and the scene was terrifying. There was a secret room in the house and the guardian forbids them to go there. His name was Count Olaf. Count Olaf gives the siblings a homework list once they arrive. The tasks of the house were written in it, like cleaning the house, cooking and washing dishes, everything. Olaf's friends arrive after some time and it is said that Olaf was a master of drama. His friends look evil and terrible. Olaf asks the children that he wants dinner before 8 and starts working out with his friends. His drama practice was so boring that his friends are sleeping there. The kids go into the kitchen and find nothing but mice and dead insects. The siblings somehow make pasta even though they have nothing. Count Olaf yells at the children even though they have done many tasks. He says you should get the worst punishment. He beats Klaus for it. Children have gone through bad things and lost their parents. Count Olaf also treated children badly. Violet was older and says that where we live is our house. She does a little experiment while tying her hair. He makes a small hut and the children sat inside with pictures of their parents. She showed up above the tent as the light reflected on it. Count Olaf enters the courtroom and proves himself to be their legal representative. After being the legal guardian of the children, he decides to beat them up. He just thought he would get the property after the kids. He leaves the kids in the dorms and locks the car. When the kids find out there will be a train, Violet calls the banker. The banker could not understand anything because of the noise of the train. Violet gets an idea and makes a tool that she can use to change the train's track. She becomes successful in it. When he throws a tool, the train's track changes. Violet saves her siblings. The banker also gets there and thinks that Count Olaf has given the kids permission to drive the car. The children try to make him understand that their guardian tried to end them. Their banker did not understand anything and took the children to Count Olaf. Later, with them, he reaches the second guardian of the children. Children must be looked after by a second guardian. It won't happen here with the kids because their first guardian let them die in front of the train. He was a doctor and liked to keep animals, especially snakes and there were different kinds of animals in his house. Does he tell the children how he collected a lot of snakes? How much does he love these animals? They meet the children with the two-faced cobra, and they also meet a three-eyed frog. He eventually makes them meet his strange animal, and it was a black python, and he tells them how he caught it with his friends. He tells them that he is the friendliest animal in the world. Can't finish any man. The guardian doctor sings them a song at night. The children felt comfortable with this guardian and told him that their parents were singing this song for them. The doctor was going to move somewhere with the children and animals the next morning. Meanwhile, a man comes and tells him that he is an assistant. The doctor called him, but it was an impersonator. He discovers that this man was none other than Count Olaf and comes here to finish off the children. The children try to tell their guardian, but he did not understand. What are the kids pointing at? The kids get an idea and send the snake to their guardian while they write something on it. The doctor understands that the man who came here as an assistant is a mimic. But it was too late and the children could not find their guardian when they looked for him. The children recognize that their parents were no longer in this world. He finds out with the police investigation and the witness of Count Olaf that his black python finished him off. The children object to this, saying that the animal is too friendly and cannot end it. Nobody agrees and then a miracle happens here. Younger Sonny reaches the black python. Everyone is shocked to see the huge python not biting and playing with the girl. The police and the banker discover that the man was Count Olaf. They were going to hold him, but he ran away. 
The second guardian of the children also died and the third guardian was a lady. He takes the children to the place where the house was turned upside down. A lady comes out of the house and was the third guardian of the children. When he sees children, he asks about their family and calls them to his house. The lady will let them know that not touching the thing will finish you off. Do not move near the refrigerator, it will push you down. Do not approach the chandelier, it will fall on you. Don't touch the door handle, it will hurt your eyes if it breaks. The lady was afraid of everything. He thinks he will die one day because of these things. He doesn't leave the house for it. Violet asks Mrs. Do you know how our parents died? What caused our house to catch fire? The lady says nothing to them and shows Violet an old album. There were her old pictures and memories. The siblings see in the album that the lady was so brave. She sees a picture of the group and Violet asks ma'am did you know my parents? Do my parents live with you? In this picture, he sees his second guardian. It was terminated by Count Olaf, which means you all know each other. Meanwhile, the lady closes the album and stops talking about it. The lady took the siblings into the room and there was a glass window. A huge sea could be seen from the glass window. Does she tell these siblings about her husband's death and how he died? A leech ate her husband. He can smell people. The next day, the children move to the market with their guardian. A man comes there and it was the captain. The captain catches the lady talking to her sweetheart. The siblings recognize him as Count Olaf. He came again to hurt us. The siblings try to convince their guardian by claiming that he killed our guardian before. He came to end us, but the guard does not listen to them and takes the captain, Count Olaf, home. When the siblings got home, they found their guardian, but it was too late. They noticed that the glass window was broken. A suicide note was also written there. He tries to read the note, but discovers numerous grammatical errors. They think their guardian never makes any grammatical mistakes. We know that Klaus has information about the books. He tells Violet that if someone makes a grammatical mistake, it means they're trying to tell us something. The guard wants to tell us something. Then he finds out that she wrote the name of the cave, which means that it is hidden somewhere. She's not dead. There was a huge storm and everything was flying. The same thing happened as their guardian said. The gas tank had leaked and gas was leaking from the kitchen. The door handles were also broken and about to hit their eyes. Due to the storm, the refrigerator also fell on them. They lie on the ground to escape and when the storm stops they find they are alive. They see that their house has been split in two. They stood on the support of a piece of wood. They did not defeat even in the face of so many terrible things. They hit a piece of wood with a heavy object. So the figure will be deflected to the side and when jumping they will move to the other side. They get into the boat and move to the location where their guardian still lived. When they reach the cave, they call their guardian and she comes to them. The siblings ask their guardian what happened to her. He says he was an executioner. He forced me to write the note, but the siblings say we came here to take you. He refuses at first, but then agrees to move in with them. They were in the middle of the sea and their ship was attacked by a leech. The leeches were coming to their boat from the water. He sees another ship and shouts that they took help from the ship. It was Count Olaf's ship. He gets to the siblings and says while holding their guardian's hand I'm leaving you. Count Olaf leaves their guardian in the water. It means that Count Olaf has terminated their third guardian. The banker and the police also reach out and try to tell them that Count Olaf put an end to many people. It is also behind us. The banker does not trust the siblings and Count Olaf invites them to his game. Did the siblings not understand what he was up to? Klaus finds out he's doing it for the book. Klaus tells his sister if we marry separately we won't have legal property. Then he discovers that Count Olaf is planning to marry Violet and when he marries her, he will inherit her property. Violet refuses to marry him and says no one will believe your drama. He says that a marriage is not a marriage until it is solemnized before a lawful judge. Meanwhile, Count Olaf says that I already thought that. My neighbor came here to help me. He will feel like a part of the drama. Violet tells Count Olaf that she won't. Count Olaf does a bad deed and captures their younger sister Sunny. He tied her to the top floor of the house. If you refuse to marry me, I will make your sister fall off this building. Violet was forced to say yes, and this is where Count Olaf's drama begins. Klaus doesn't lose heart and wonders what Violet will do when she's in this situation. He starts climbing the building to save his sister and the drama was also happening. And also the wedding scene. People took it as drama. Klaus made it to the room where they were forbidden to move. Klaus is holding a paper found in the hand of his guardian. The eye drawn on the paper was the same as the eye in Count Olaf's room. Klaus saves his younger sister and the drama should have ended. The marriage certificate was signed by Violent. And Klaus on the other hand understood that sunlight in the eye can burn anything. Klaus was waiting for the sunlight, because the sunlight will destroy this place. Burns the certificate signed by Violet when sunlight hits it. Count Olf shouted to everyone that you didn't hear the children. 
They said I was behind it. I'm done with all of them. The men come on stage as the certificate is burned. They were participants in this drama and later Count Olaf will be punished. Before the actual punishment, the judge gives the punishments that have been given to the children so far. Count Olaf was initially tied to the railroad. Then he was thrown into a boat full of leeches. He was also kept in a place full of snakes. The banker still has those siblings and no guardian to look after them. Before leaving the banker says I want to take you to the place and take them to their house. It was burned and destroyed. When Klaus arrives home, he finds a letter. Their parents wrote it and they got it too late. By the time they got the letter, the house was completely destroyed. Their parents also died. Violet and Klaus read the letter and this is where the film series comes to an end. Thanks for watching.